Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you this traditional Indian makeup look which is perfect for this wedding season. Now I love a good traditional makeup and this one is my absolute favorite. You can wear this look with any sari or any salwar suit. Even you can wear this look with any western dress for that change the jewelries and please change the lip option then it will be absolutely appropriate so yeah without further ado let's get started for my primer today i'm going to use this elf poreless primer and i'm going to apply it all over on my face and neck and i'll be spreading it out with my fingers i already moisturized my face about half an hour ago using my garnier moisture rescue gel cream so i'm not moisturizing my face again now while the primer is prepping my face for foundation application i'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows for that i'm using this wet and wild retractable eyebrow pencil in the shade medium brown and i'm just following my natural eyebrow shape and creating a border first then i'll be filling it up using smaller strokes now with the spoolie i'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed now i'm using this wet and wild photo focus concealer in the shade light medium beige and with this puna stole lip brush i'm just carving out my brows so that they look sharp now i'm just blending out the concealer primer is well set and i'm going to go ahead and apply a foundation for that i'm using this wet and wild photo focus concealer in the shade golden beige and i'm just puffing it in with my puna store foundation brush you should always apply foundation on your neck as well to avoid the mask effect Now for highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadow application on the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, sides of my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next. Now I'm just blending everything out with a damp sponge from Studio 35. I always like to blend out my under eye concealer later because I feel this way they get some time to get set and it gives better coverage. Now I'm using this Bharatan Doris Loose Powder in the shade 07 and with the same damp sponge I'm just setting my concealed areas. Now with a fluffier powder brush I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face so slightly because this is a matte foundation and I do not want my face to look super duper matte. I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup first for that i'm using this light brown color from my milani pure passion eyeshadow palette and i'm just applying it as my transition color now you do not have to use the same palette for creating the same look you can definitely use similar colors from different palette as well i think this palette is not available in india but milani eyeshadow palette in 08 master metallics is quite similar to this palette so you can definitely go ahead and use that palette for creating a similar look now i'm using this dark chocolate brown color and i'm just applying it on my outer v area in a v shape Now I'm using this shimmery goldeny copper kind of a shade and I'm just applying it on the inner one third area of my eyelid. Now I'm using this 
dark metallic copper or maroonish copper kind of a color and I'm just applying it on the center of my eyelids. Now I'm using this lighter brown eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just applying it between the dark chocolate color and that metallic color to give it a nice and smooth transition. I'm also applying the same color on my crease to give my crease a nice depth. Now I'm using this Jordana Easy Line Eyeliner Pencil in Jet Black and I'm just going to apply it on my waterline and I'm also going to tight lining with it. You can use any kajal or any gel eyeliner for this step. Now I'm applying the same dark chocolate brown color on the one outer third area of my lower lash line. Basically I'm repeating the same thing that I did for my eyelids. Then I'm applying the shimmer or metallic color on the center. And I'm also applying the golden copper color on the inner third area. Now I'm using this Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Paint and I'm just going to create a nice thick wing here. I'm also elongating the inner corners so that my eyes look bigger and wider. Now I'm curling my eyelashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm going to apply a coat of mascara on my upper and lower lashes. This is Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Now for my false eyelashes, I'm going to use this back eyelashes in the number 58 of the camera. And here the eye makeup is all done. Now I'm taking this contour shade from my Maybelline Master Face Palette in the shade medium to deep and I'm just going to contour my face. You know the drill like the hollows of my cheeks, jawline, forehead and also my nose. I'm taking the blush from the same palette and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks then I'll be blending it out with my contour. Now I'm using the highlighting shade from the same palette and with this elf highlighting brush I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, bridge of my nose and also the size of my forehead this is a very subtle highlighter if you want a blinding highlight you definitely have to build it up I'm also highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners I'm just setting my face using this elf makeup setting spray so that there is no excess powder left on my face now for my lipstick I'm going to go ahead and use this Milani Matte Lipstick in Matte Confident. This is a gorgeous maroon color. Now I'm using this Wet n Wild Lip Gloss in the shade Taurus and I'm just applying it on the center of my lips so that my lips look a little fuller. And here is the final look. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please check that out. And if you have any video request, then feel free to comment down below. I will be more than happy to make it for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.